All right, another lovers and haters, Rod Seller again. Rod Seller again with a broken phone and all this stuff. And uh, you know, if I was the only child, I would have already gotten my crap together, right? I wouldn't have no siblings holding me back, cause I, I come from a family where the there was one sibling, uh, his name Philip, uh, born before me, but he he he's half half brain, right? Okay, mentally delayed, you know, mentally retardation, autism, all that, right? I was the second born out of that dysfunctional family. And then the brother that I'm talking about, my third, third child of my father, Dorian, he's the one who's living with me right now, okay? And for 27 years, I was under my father's house, okay? And those, I said, I, I, the reason why I'm the way I am is because I am coping and I'm trying to move forward, trying to get my life together, trying to earn my own way and not think about the past, the ugly days of being in a dysfunctional, dysfunctional uh, schools, always getting bullied, never have any uh, allies, right? Uh, just wow. And, and then the few friends I did had, I, I admit I, I treat like cra- trash. Yeah. Just like that crippled girl I mentioned a couple of videos ago. Um, yeah, and the reason why she and I couldn't be together, number one, she knew about my dysfunctional family, and she was a white girl, and, uh, she wasn't into black guys, okay, but, and then, I guess I treat her like shit, oh my gosh, yeah, she has a daughter now, she only has one kid, I think, the others are, like, adopted, but you see, her marriage is not doing well because her husband is cheating on her, treating her like trash. Yeah. But she doesn't like drama. She doesn't because of her condition. She doesn't like drama. She likes happy stuff. She likes, you know, and, and she saw the darkness in my family, the dysfunctionality. And if I had gotten my, if I had, if I was in, you know, the only child, I would have already got in my crap, or at least I attempted to get my crap together, right? The reason why I constantly, I, I'm trying my hardest to, like, not leave my brother behind, because that's where I came from. All of my family members, that's all they do to each other. They backstab, they, uh, you know, uh, betrayal, you know, the, it's divided, too, Okay? Some of my family members are actually drug dealers. Some of my family members are actually, uh, you know, jailbirds. A lot of my family members, you know, bad choices. Okay? I'm trying not to repeat what them, but, hey, I, I feel that that too. Yeah, I guess I got my car stolen. Just, just all crap. But that was from COVID. COVID. Ugh. And then, the reason why I don't ask my father for help because remember that Jeep Liberty I was in? Yeah. I had gotten that from a high school uh, graduation present, but the car kept breaking down and kept breaking down. That's, that's one of my big downfalls. I kept trying to fix a, a, a terrible product, right? Just wow. You see, terrible guidance, terrible family. Just, why do you think I resent being black? I resent being a member of that, that family. Okay, it's just terrible. Anyway, I'm just gonna update you guys. Uh, my brother has to do like a thousand hours of community service just to avoid jail time, plus a five hundred dollar fine, right? Because of his outbursts and all this crap. And I have to tread lightly when I speak in these videos because I don't want to lose my current job at UPS. Uh, it's an easy job, really easy. Just, 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 just handle the packages, put them to the correct truck, easy. But, uh, just wow. But yeah, that's the way I am right now. All those years, unable. Why do you think I constantly, 
if you guys, like I said, you don't know me that well, well, yeah, huge Power Rangers fan, always talking about Power Rangers, because I use Power Rangers as a substitute to the dysfunctional family, and I knew Power Rangers was a fake show with the Super Sentai footage and all that, but I used it as a coping mechanism for being born in a dysfunctional family, it's the same with Dragon Ball, I use that as a coping mechanism, okay, because I, I can't stand uh, my dysfunctional family. In fact, I rather, yeah, go ahead, disown me. I don't care. I don't care. You know, you think I care? Besides, nobody wishes me a happy birthday anyway. Nobody, nobody cares if I, if I, if I turn another year. You know, why do you think I was all suicidal? Okay? And, and, and essentially, you know, I'm always talking about sex robots and stuff because I want a, I, I want a new family. I want a, a, a new artificial family, something, I don't know. But I want something new. Because I'm tired of this one. I'm tired of being stuck. And I'll tell my, uh, you know, lazy brother. But I got to help him try to pay his uh, community service or, or actually his, his uh, fine. I got to try to help him with that. And I actually, before we split, I actually want him to get his own car. So I don't, I can actually get on my adventures. I can actually go get multiple jobs, this and that, go back to school, this and that. Because right now, I have to actually... He depends on me to get him everywhere, right? Rod, you got to stop doing that. You got to stop doing it. got to stop helping your brother. You got to do it. Eh. Well, he's, he's, he's all I have, okay? That's why I, I constantly do it. Like I said, it is very offensive when I hear people say, Oh, Rod, you should help Brian Fritz. You know, fuck Brian Fritz. You heard what I said. Fuck Brian Fritz. Why are you so against Brian Fritz? Brian Fritz was there with... Because he's a drug addict and a scam artist. That's why. Like I said, all those uh, fleas and, and his little missy food. Uh, oh, why did you bring my cat? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but I, I heard a story. The stories that that uh, people would tell me about him, how he would he would um, hire prostitutes, and then oh gosh, smoke lots of weed. I don't smoke weed. I don't do drugs. I try my best to stay out of that because of like I said, my family. You know. I have family members that I, I don't even associate with because they are drug addicts. They do sell. They do. They do. They do just do uh, dangerous stuff, you know. And I try. I try to keep a clean nose. Okay. I try so hard, and I want to do stuff the legit way because I come from a family that's like that thuggery, EBT, this and that. Why do you think I keep attacking the black community? I come from it. I actually want to be the first like black comic book artist or manga artist. That's what I want to do. And then make my video games from my manga stuff. That's what I want to do. You know? But like I said, ghetto uh, mother, you know, won't, you know, throw out all my stuff because I was stupid enough to trust her. I thought she loved me. Why do why you think well, I'm like this? Huh? Like I said, it's hard to get over stuff. I wish I could start over. You know, be a new race, do whatever. Start over and just forget about it. The, 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 the current family I'm in. I wish I could. But I can't. That's why I turn to video games and fantasy and stuff like that. Try, try to get my mind off it. Because like I said. Back me into a corner. I, 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 I probably would go crazy. And then I, I ain't going to jail. Why go to jail? Why? Just shoot me. Alright? Because cause I'm tired. I'm tired of shit not going my way. When you get to that point in your life. When you get tired of shit not going your way. Yeah. Things happen. Oh, well, you're a dangerous person, Rod. You're oh, we got we got to call cops on you because you're talking like that. No. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm really I'm tired of this world. Oh no, the world's crying. You're the failure, Rod. No, I no. I mean, on some things, yeah, maybe, but it's not entirely my fault. Because like I said, I I didn't get control of my life until 27. Because, like I said, in a household where a man constantly, you know, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. You are stay in the house church, read the Bible, all this crap. Yes, I am suffering from religious trauma syndrome. Yes, I am suffering from post-formatic stress disorder. Yes, I am. In fact, I'm also suffering from post-recession stress disorder, right? Because of the 2008 crap. 2008. And like I said, we're going through another one. But yeah. 
I get tired of being told no all my life. You get tired of it. And eventually you get to the point where you, you do whatever it takes to get power and force a yes or just die. You get to that point in your life. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say for right now. But yeah, I have to help my brother again. And it's so annoying. But yeah, I, I really want to give him a car before I, I split from him. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I want my own household. Because I, I am tired of living with him. I really am. SpongeBob, Tekken, Street Fighter, all that crap. Sometimes I can't even get any sleep. I'm always playing video games. But he's suffering too. He's suffering too. You know? Because like I said, we... What? What family? Anyway. That's all I have to say for right now. I'm just venting, guys. I am just venting. I'm, I'm venting, you know? That's how this life turned out. But I'll say I'll sign out.